Hello and welcome to the Equip Knowledge Hub. My name is Joris Alkamade and in this video I will demonstrate how you can get your SAP Quick View reports throughout your system landscape. In one of our previous videos I demonstrated you the basic principles of transaction SQVI, the Quick Viewer reports. But the Quick Viewer reports have two drawbacks. One is that it's only usable for the user that has created it. And the second one is that you cannot easily transport it to your system landscape. In this video, I will demonstrate to you how we can go about with using uh, the SAP query transactions. For your convenience, I've pasted the link to the previous video below. You can check it out later. Before we can start creating this uh, uh, SAP query viewer into a, a SAP query, first we make to have to make sure that the user group for the authorizations to users are equally distributed over the global query area and the standard query area. For this, we use transaction SQ03. So when we start transaction SQ03, the manage user groups transaction, we will see that we enter this transaction uh, with the global query area, which is uh, cross client. We will use user group uh, ZIQ uh, as, a, as, a, as a reference to uh, assign this to users for the authorizations. And it's important that we also create this ZIQ user group in the standard query area, which is client specific. So here you can see that it's defined in the global area, within the query area. And if we want to switch it to the standard query area, we go to the environment, query area, and then select the standard area, client specific. Now for this demo, we already created the um, uh, the user group ZIQ uh, in, uh, in the standard query area. So here it is. But if you don't have it, uh, you need to create it by just using the create button. Now we've defined it and then we can exit this transaction by using the back button. So now we have set up the user group in the standard uh, query area. We can use the convert quick view option in the uh, transaction SQ00. So once I start this uh, transaction SQ00, then we see that we uh, first enter into the global area uh, and then the option for converting the quick view is not uh, accessible yet. So we have to switch the global area for the standard area to enable the option to convert a quick viewer report. So once we have done this, we also need to make sure that the user group is set to the correct user group. So as we saw in a previous step, we defined user group ZIQ as the user group in the standard query area. So let's select that one. So now we're in the standard query area with user group ZIQ, and then we can see that the option for copying or converting the quick view is available. So let's do that. And when I open this view, then I see that I, yeah, I only have one quick view available and assigned to my username. You can also look for other usernames. And so we select that quick view and press OK. And then you see that our Quick view report is actually converted into the SQ00 transaction. As you can see, the um, quick view is added to the standard query area, and we need to get that to the global query area. And this is what we're going to do with transaction SQ02. So now we're back in the uh, SAP menu again, and then we can select the the transaction code SQ02 maintain info sets. If we done that, we select our uh, freshly created uh, uh, info set uh, in the uh, in the standard area and press the transport button. And with the transport button, we get the option to 
copy the um, info set from the standard area to the global area and we uh, uncheck the test run. We want to do it right away. And then uh, in the options for transports, we select the transport option to transport info sets and queries and we use the import option replace. That means that if queries and info sets already resist, uh, exist in the receiving system, the queries and the info sets will be replaced and if they are not there yet, they will be created. So we select that option and press the execute button to actually execute this action. So once we do that, then SAP will ask us to enter some information about uh, the package. Uh, we can do a local uh, package so that it will not be transported. What we actually want is to have our quick view uh, across our SAP landscape. So we put it in a transportable package. So let's select one that is suitable for us. So let's select the Z001, which seems fine. Press save button. And then SB will prompt us, hey, enter a nice description for a transport. So we'll add a transport uh, description and we press the save button. So after we press the, the save button, we will get some logging, what was done in the standard area and what was done in the global area. So you see some read and write access. And then after that, you can push the press back button because we're finished here, we created the transport. Now to check out the actual result of our actions, we can check out in transaction code SQ00, start queries, and see that our uh, quick viewer is actually available in the, uh, in the global query area. So back in the SAP menu, we will select transaction code SQ00, start queries. And now we will see that our uh, query, our, our quick viewer, well, is now available as a query in the global query area in user group uh, ZIQ. If you want to change the user group within this view, you can do this with the option under menu edit, other user group, and select your user group. If the transaction started in a query area, which you don't want, but you want another query area, you can do this within the environment, query areas, and then select your query environment. So for now, we're basically there. Um, you can use uh, transaction code X SQ00 together with user group ZIQ to incorporate this in user roles to allow users to access this report uh, throughout your system landscape. Um, if you don't want to do that, you can also look up the ABAP report that has been generated for this query by going to Query, More Functions, Display, display Report Name. So you can assign a transaction code also directly to this um, uh, ABAP report and then include that transaction code in the user roles. So this is it. This is the end of the video. I hope you liked it. I hope you learned something. And uh, if you do, please give it a thumbs up. Um, and uh, don't forget to subscribe uh, to, our, uh, to our channel if you don't want to miss out any of our new videos. See you later. Bye bye. This video is powered by Equipped quality in business and technology.